Hello and welcome to Assertiveness, the show that gives ordinary South Africans the space to talk about things that really matter. My name is Nicolette Wachamashile Mwanawakwa Boshpakrich Mapulaneng. On today's episode, we are going to be looking at whether or not girlfriend allowance should actually be a thing. Should men be paying girlfriend allowance? And what about those who are in homosexual relationships? Who actually should be giving who an Why is it funny the allowance, guys? Are our partners, our fathers, our mothers, really should they be giving us money and have relationships in South Africa in general? And I'm going to speak about South Africa because that's where I live. Have they become very monetary? Have they just become, have we become prostitutes that just get paid, but not necessarily right there and then, but over time you are expecting some sort of payment for you staying in a relationship? I am joined in studio by two gentlemen who are going to actually help me tackle this conversation. Let's break it down. Let's get an understanding of, from a male perspective, of course, what is actually happening in South Africa. But before we get into that, let's get introductions. Let's get to find out who we actually have in conversations with. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good, thanks. Awesome. Can we find out who we have the pleasure of speaking to? Okay, you have the pleasure of speaking to Innocent Matijani, or Ino Matijani, most people refer to me like that. Okay. Yeah. Ino Matijani. Yeah. That's, that, that, that was very fast. Like I'm trying to still okay, so like break down. Get innocent, they were matijani. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. what do you do? I'm okay, a TV presenter slash professional dancer slash artist. artist. Yeah. Do girls still like guys? Yeah, they do every time. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. Uh, every time I go on the stage, you know the yeah. screams and everything. But yeah, everyone loves dancing, man. From girls to guys, you know, it's just a broad, beautiful art. Yeah. If I can put it that way, yeah. Okay, so when you say you're a TV presenter, what what do you what kind of work do you do? What kind of presenting do you do? Lifestyle shows, music shows? Well, I did. I was on one show that covered every um, you know expert of presenting. I was on Hectic Nana, and it covers lifestyle, it covers music, it covers fashion. You oh, know, it's youth general. Based, right? Yeah, it's youth based. So okay. yeah, I do every presenting. Like I guess I have got so much experience in training to say that. So. Watch out. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, so you love broadcast media. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, man, for since I was 10 years old, started in the entertainment industry, like working for a magazine, two magazines at the same time, traveling, going to school, radio. So I've been in this thing, just waiting for that special time where I actually like, get like my own gig of presenting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not feel of, of other people and just like, hey, say yeah. a few words and leave now. Oh, okay. So, Very interesting. <laughs> and what do you do for fun? What I do for fun? Uh, Work. I'm a workaholic. Eh? Like honestly, I am. I will arrive two hours earlier to my appointment or anything. Uh, yeah, it's work. I work, work, work the whole time. I find it fun because if I don't work, I feel so morbid. I feel like nothing's going on. I just become thinking about life and everything. And I don't want to that stage in my life. I don't want that. I just want to work, put on work, get results. You got. How old are you? We we'll disclose this later. Okay. Mm -hmm. What all? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Joala. Uh, yeah. Joala Zhuang, yeah. Ule work all the time. Thing is, before you get in a relationship, you need to know the kind of person you want to be in a relationship with, someone who's going to respect your work schedule. I'm not saying now that you, you know, become recessive to your work schedule, but they have to understand before they go in a relationship with you what they actually are getting themselves into. You know, I cannot have a problem with my work schedule if you knew so well the type of things that I do in the industry or being busy the whole time, coming home late, or we don't live together, but I'm just saying it's times where we be together. So yeah, like, you need to understand. You know, the, 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 the people of today, you, you social media people love being busy. They make their lives look so busy, like, oh, see busy. So busy, we are so busy. Hey, we have to, we have to grind, eh? Okay. We have to grind, days are short. Interesting. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Awesome. Love Sir? Yes, uh, my name is Renelu Mulefe, and yeah, well, um... Are you as busy as he is? I'm not really a okay. busy person. <laughs> He's quite busy, yeah. Well, I'm not busy, I'm a consultant in one of the major banks, oh, and yes. yeah, well, I also you have heart in... Sorry? How strange you mind? <laughs> See, join G Mile. I don't one, two, one, two, <laughs> bring your malele boo and go. I don't think I want to spend the night in jail, not at least now. Um, not no, unless no. maybe. If boy, you can only spend the night in jail if you get caught. I mean, come on. No, not unless maybe uh, active with or something, uh, maybe public indecency. Yeah. yeah. Are you planning to steal money? No, no. Did you say public indecency? What would you be doing? <laughs> <laughs> if you've been caught in a public indecent situation, what's about job? Maybe taking a leg. I don't know. Why do you guys do? Uh, well, that's actually a conversation for another yeah. day. We will get into that. Okay, yeah. so Rafi, Kinelo Rafi Lui, Rene Lui. 
All right. That's usually a girl's name. Um, I wouldn't say it's a girl's name, but in it's a Tswana name. Yeah. So in Tswana. But they are very unisex in, 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 in Tswana because... Yeah, actually, I, uh, well, come to think of it, only Rene Lue knows like Rene Little Lignan, and he's not a girl. But I mean, from, from but Toko Bushi, a lot of Rene Lues are, are, are girls. Yeah. But it's a beautiful name. We have been given, we have been blessed. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, what do you do for fun? Well, I'm um, always with my boys. You know, we just sit, talk. Oh, I don't like men like you. <laughs> you guys laugh around when you are sitting together, no. ne? And out of around, we actually gossip, you know? Yeah, I mean gossip a yeah, lot. Yeah, we gossip in a good way, and yes, we put it there. We can gossip about you right there, like yeah. and then. Do you guys do that, that language thing where you speak your own language, language and no one can understand you? Like codes and stuff like that. Mm. Mm. I do that a lot, and uh, like I, well, what else do I do for fun? I go out and party. Oh, lovely! And then, are you in a relationship? No, I'm not in a relationship, not at least yet. But then there's someone that I'm actually, you know. Ah! Ah, there's someone you are eyeing, does she know? Yeah. That is adorable. Isn't that like the most exciting part of a relationship? Where you like, kind of like met someone that you really like and yeah. you guys are like just starting out and you're not sure yet. And yeah, yeah, it is. It, it is quite nice. But then uh, I think as time goes on, uh, well, I'm a person who get bored easily. Ah, it's not that you, it's because you don't want to put in the work. That I think I had was lasted only like two years. That was the longest. Is it? Jeez, guys, I was in a relationship for like seven years. Yo. Wow, what a waste of my time. But in any case, it's yeah. long, eh? Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. He did actually waste your time. Yeah, seven years. Really wasted my time. But it was fine, wasted each other's time. So it's a, it's a whatever situation. Okay, awesome. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm going to put the question down on the table. Girlfriend allowance, is, is it a thing? What is that? Is it 50 rand a day, monthly thing, Yana? What's going on? Uh, As your girlfriend, yeah. so that I can sort out my life. Well, honestly speaking, yeah. I think it's something that, you know, it is allowed. Okay. For a girl to have a girlfriend no. allowance. <laughs> okay, let's, let's hear him out. Let's hear what he, yeah. I think, okay, now, the uh, problem is that our generation, you know, um, we are busy trying to prove that, you know, women can actually do what men does. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, you know, you, you women, you tend to lose your uniqueness, which is you were created to do everything that men cannot do. So now, coming to whereby you're beautiful, I compliment you, you, I like your lips in that lipstick. Those small details you like, it's money, you know, you understand your hair, your nails, and you want to you be complimented on those things. So who is responsible for you to take care of those? If I like them and then I compliment you on, you, uh, I compliment you on those things, I should be at least giving you sort of like a token of appreciation, like, hey, you know, I know but you waste my money. In I this know, whole yeah. Situation. I know you can't put those nails by yourself. You know, you need somebody to do it, and then obviously you're gonna need money. But then again, where is my money? Yeah. I get these nails are mine. Yeah. They're on my hands. Yeah. Why am I not paying for my own nails? You know, you can't just pay for everything. You are women are for everything that I want. No, you, I can't you, you, you can't. Can I date you, please? That other girl must wait, eh? I feel like she must just chill, hey? Honestly speaking, you can't just pay for everything. Uh, well, basic things you can, like your toiletry and then you... Do all your boys think like this? Small details like your uh, earrings. I mean, how many earrings do you have? I have a lot. Mm -hmm. Lots of earrings. You buy earrings from your own pocket. It's Why so not, though? These are things that I'm choosing to purchase. And these are not things that I'm choosing to purchase because of you. Yeah. I'm yeah. choosing them because they make yeah. me. It goes back to me and you getting, com I mean, don't you get confident and don't you feel like you're being appreciated and you are alive. Sweet pie, let me tell <laughs> maybe other girls, but like I'm okay. I, 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 I'm clear on what I look yeah, like. So my confidence does not lie. It lies with my brain. If you compliment my brain, mm -hmm. it's a different conversation. But, uh, it, it, it's I think it's it's nature. Well, it's also nature. yeah. I, I think it's also you, you know what's the funny part. Bird? You know what's the funny part. Yeah, because I'm, I'm a bird to smash. Instead, we both males here when you're trying to have our own different opinions. Yeah. So to me, it's like uh, okay. Hold uh, that. Hold that. We're gonna go for a quick ad break. <laughs> when we come back, we're gonna let you have him for lunch. Yes. Remember, you guys can join our conversation on social media using the hashtag assertiveness. Please don't go anywhere. It's about to get hot up in here. Yo.